So guys, I've had the Vive XR Elite for almost an entire year now. Actually, I think it's a little more than a year. And I thankfully got mine for a steal. It was only a couple hundred dollars on Amazon used. And I've been loving every minute of it. The original run of this has a defect in the uh, side braces. And now this piece of plastic is really cheap. They sell official parts on iFixit. They didn't make that little reinforcement ring around that section big enough. And so it actually ends up cracking. Also, if I remember right, the developers were saying that plastic in the injection molding, it meets right here. And so that's also, they needed to make that thicker. And so after a few months, they did make it thicker. But as you can see, it was made in April of 2023. Everything after, I think, August or uh, September, something like that, 2023, has the new upgraded one where basically that round feature goes around even further. Now, mine actually held up a very long time and didn't crack for like 10 months. And I did leave it out quite a bit. I did leave it open. The Vive XR Elite, it does have a lot of tension on it because they have a lot of tension built into the arms for the glasses mode and that's why honestly i already got this with the idea to modify it i ended up not having to modify it that much i'll talk about that in the future it actually fits my head pretty well when i take away the face gasket but i'm figuring that this plastic for the arms is going to need to be replaced a lot eventually and I'm, I even bought the thing figuring that I would actually just do away with those eventually and build my own mechanism. But I say, let's get a close-up view of this. I find it interesting that the top part cracked first. Although now we're getting some cracking on the bottom too. In multiple places. Now... I'm just going to flip this around. Some other people have noticed breaking in this section here, but I haven't personally noticed that. I think maybe it snaps there. That might be a longer run issue. But again, they're being really good about putting all the parts on iFixit. So that one has multiple stress fractures around it, and it's cracked there. And I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is, because I'm curious to see what happens. I don't really know if there's any reason to fix it. I'll see if anything else cracks. But for the most part, it seems like the outside pieces, I haven't heard anybody break one. It's just the inside pieces. And I think that, honestly, it's probably not worth the $15 to replace that plastic. Oh, and another thing. Even the actual repair people, they all too often over-tighten the screws underneath those pieces of um, sticker. So be very careful about tightening those. And when I mean very careful, I mean be very careful. I may, in, at a later date, try to reinforce that, but I just don't see a whole lot of a reason to. Well, that's my one-year update about the physical flaws of it. Next episode, I'm going to be talking about how I modified it. And honestly... There's a lot of secrets to just having that strap and balancing it correctly on your head without a face gasket. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.